Hi, my name is Madison and I am currently balancing going to work, a YouTube channel, two YouTube channels actually, um, attending college and learning several languages because I don't have enough on my plate. So today we're going to discuss my quarter two goals. I tried to make them as specific as possible as Elise de Vega says, as specific as humanly possible to make my wants into need to do's to succeed. And yeah, we're gonna try it. I don't know. I don't know if it'll go well, but I certainly, certainly did it. Okay, so April is the first month in quarter two, and today's actually April 1st, so happy April Fool's Day. I promise you I'm being serious for these videos. Um, but this is going to be the American Sign Language Month. I want to spend uh, every day during April learning sign language. I want to do one Bill Vicar's video every day because I actually want to do, I want to finish both Playlist 1 and Playlist 2 in his uh teaching lessons on YouTube, and that's about 47 videos. Um, it's 45, oh no, it's 45 videos, and I've only done four of them, so I have 41 to complete. So I can do that within three months. That's 90 days. That's not even a lesson a day, you know what I mean? But I know myself, and I kind of tend to like say I'm going to study ASL, and then I don't do a whole lesson. So for the month of April, I want to do 30 lessons, or maybe a little bit less than that, because I do have some other videos um, for my ASL learning that I want to watch. Mainly sentence structure. Oh my god, I don't understand why I can't get sentence structure down. It's just so confusing. So I want to make April my ASL month. Not only because I have someone to communicate in ASL with, and I love talking to him, and he is so kind. Uh, he called me smart one morning for learning economics and then he said I need to learn more ASL um, before he left. So it was kind of like the opposite, but I, I, I really appreciate him being patient with me to speak his language and to learn it. And I have not been studying it consistently the past quarter, so I need to get this down. So. 25, 30 lessons in Bill Vicar's uh, own personal YouTube playlist, his tutoring, his actual like tutor sessions that he reposts online. I want to do 30, I want to, I want to do, I want to study ASL every single day in April and I'm going to film it, fingers crossed. So we'll see how that goes at the end of April, but I just need to study it. By the end of quarter two, I would like to maybe be B1 or very close to B2 in ASL. My whole goal is by next year, halfway through next year, to take a proficiency exam in ASL. Uh, a very high goal, very, very high goal, but I do want to be fluent in ASL. So um, I didn't do very good quarter one trying to work towards this goal. So quarter two, I'm going to, I'm going to be a Beast. I'm gonna become a god and do I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, okay? I have all of you to hold me accountable. I have myself to hold me accountable. Okay, so then my second language, my second focus for quarter two is Swedish. Of course it is, my love. Um, and I have that I want to finish the Harry Potter Anki deck that I have. That's my favorite resource mentioned in the previous video. I was doing really good in February, doing it every day or like every other day. And in March, I don't think I did it, like, I didn't do it at all. I know I did it one Sunday because I was trying to get all of my cards gone, and then I had to do it that Monday because I didn't do that. So I uh, I wanted to finish that deck because by the end of the year, I want to read the first Harry Potter book in Swedish, and I think this would be a great way to dive into it. So it's a good resource. I do like using it. I just don't know if I like Anki. I don't really think I like Anki. So it's kind of like I love the resource, but I don't really like Anki, so they kind of cancel each other out. But anyway, I want to finish the deck. It's about 350 flashcards. I do five a day. I could have finished it in quarter one, even though I didn't start it till like fe February. So I can definitely finish it in quarter two. Um, I just need to be consistent with it. I also want to do at least 50 new close master cards a day. This does not include the cards that I would need to do for review, but I got close master. I really do like close master. I got to use it. I mean, they have a 30 cards a day free like part of it, so I got to actually use it unlike Link. 
um, before I uh, forked up some cash towards it. So I want to use it. I want to make sure it becomes like a consistent part of my day. Okay, sorry, my phone just went off. Um, and so 50 cards a day, I was doing 100 um, when I first got it, and that took about 45 minutes. And that's a lot of time to dedicate to it when that doesn't include any like grammar or comprehensible input. And I'm also actually doing, um, I'm watching Spirit on Netflix, their television show. I don't know what it's called, but it's called Spirit. And I'm watching that in Swedish because I've watched it in English. I liked it in English, and so I'm re-watching it in Swedish. And I also want to transcribe a Hey Ninja episode. Um, so this is something that my uni does, and I, if I if I understand it correctly, it's where you watch a show with like no subtitles, and then you write down what you hear. And I don't know many words in Swedish, but I am starting to recognize like words in Hey Ninja and in Spirit. Um, and I'm able to hear the sounds, which I just love so much. I feel so proud of myself, but I'm like, oh, I know that word. And I recognize that I know that word. It is such a great feeling. So I want to try and transcribe an episode. I don't know if I'm going to do well or not. That'll probably be near the end of the, uh, the uh, end of the quarter. But it's something that I want to do because... I want to try it. My uni loves it, so I'm going to try it. Even though I'm not as high in Swedish as she is in Korean, I still want to try it. I also have that I want to I want to finish my complete Swedish textbook. Yeah, that's been a goal I've had on quarter one, and then I never did. Complete Swedish is a textbook by a company I don't know the name of. Um, I'll leave it right here. And uh, it's like one of the few Swedish textbooks that I could find. So I want to go through and finish it. There's 20 lessons and I should be able to do it. I should be. That's, that's a little over one lesson a week, but I've already done four of them. So I don't even, ha I don't even have 20 of them left to do. And my final, final thing on here is I want to by the end of the quarter, I want to be able to record one video in Swedish. This is something that uh, Lucas, who watches my videos and is a native Swedish speaker, or at least he speaks Swedish fluently, um, has wanted me to do <laughs> for a while. And I would love to do it, but I, one, feel like I don't know enough vocabulary to do it, and two, Swedish sentence structure drives me insane because ASL sentence structure and Swedish sentence structure are so close to English in my mind but they just have like one or two things that makes it so it's not exactly the English speaking way and makes it a little bit more difficult and also I'm kind of like how did I learn English sentence structure like <laughs> I try and think of it like that. I'm like, wow, I just speak English. Don't even think about it until like right now I'm thinking about the way I speak English. And it's like, wow, sentence structure. Like what the heck, you know? So I need to do that. But I want, I'm going to have at least one video on this channel in Swedish before quarter three begins. And we'll do it. We'll do it. You know, we'll do it. So those are quarter two's goals. Russian, French, we're not focusing on them. I might do some Duolingo lessons, you know, but I'm not going to focus on it because I don't have the time to focus on them. Whew, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I don't have the time to focus on them. Quarter three, I'm thinking will be Russian focused. And so by that time, I might need to relearn the alphabet. But I'm honestly, right now, I'm okay with that just because I have so much on my plate right now and two languages is plenty. I would love to be learning all of these languages and become fluent in all of them so easily. But the truth is, it takes time. And if you're learning all of them at the same time, you don't have any time time to dedicate to them. So I want to dedicate all of my time in April to uh, ASL and then on the weekends I will do a little bit of Swedish to make sure you know I don't lose my level and then um, May, June we'll kind of see what I feel like after 30 day challenge. So yes I'm doing another language learning challenge and cross your fingers wish me luck because the first one didn't go very well so yeah. Anyway I love you all so much. Thank you for putting up with my annoying self and I will see you guys all in my next video. Uh, adios!
Hey Duel, goodbye. Don't forget to tell me what your guys' goals are for the new quarter and how did quarter one go for you? Bye bye and hey, don't forget I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Mwah.